An aeroplane carrying a parcel drop releases it while traveling at a steady speed of 90 meters per second at an altitude of 200 meters. Name that the height is 200 meters here. And then it is traveling at 90 meters per second. Now I want to calculate the time between the parcel leaving the aeroplane and hitting the ground. How are we able to do that? So we're going to say height is given by ut plus half gt squared. So the height here is 200. The initial speed, now whenever we're talking about height, then the initial speed of the parcel, since it is the parcel that is going down, should be in the y direction. Now since the plane was traveling horizontally, meaning that there is no y component, of the plane. If there is no y component, meaning that also the parcel which was dropped didn't have any y component. Therefore, the initial velocity is going to be zero in the y direction. Okay, so I should have stated this is initial velocity in the y, so that is zero. And then plus half, since the parcel is dropping, g is going to be positive, and then t squared. So this is going to give us 200 being equal to uh, 4.9 t squared. Divide both sides by 4.9. So we're going to have t squared being equal to 200 over 4.9. Then we're going to square root both sides of the equation. Therefore, t is going to give us positive or negative 6.39. But time cannot be negative, so we're just going to pick the positive value. The next one is saying, calculate the horizontal distance traveled. So that is simply the range. Now, the range is given by velocity in the x multiplied by the time. And that to give us velocity index is given by velocity cos theta. But in this case, since the plane only has got an x component or horizontal component, that will be the x component also. So that will be 90. You don't need to find anything. And then the time of flight is the one of just from calculating 6.39. So this will give us the range being equal to 574.9889. Rounded off to the nearest one number, this is going to be 575 meters.